Oh, God. If there ever was a time that we ought to be setting ourselves in order to pray, it's now. For we as his true servants, we see by the letters of the apostles, by the warnings of the Holy Spirit, that we're in the last days. The Holy Spirit speaks that in the last days, man will be headed high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than of God, truth-breakers, false accusers, incontinent, and despisers of those that are good. I understand by letter. I understand that there will come scoffers in the last days. I understand that there will be nation against nation in the last days. I understand that there will be tidal waves in the last days. I understand that there will be fearful sights like flying saucers in the heavens and mysterious sights. And man's heart will be failing for fear. There will be a perplexity of time and a distress amongst the people. I read that they'll all go into organizations and denominations and have a confederation in the last days. I understand that the women will bob off their hair in the last days. I understand they'll wear short clothes and walk with high heel shoes tinkling as they go in the last days. I understand that morale will be very low in the last days. I understand that the preachers will be false shepherds in the last days that will compromise and will not feed the people the word of God, but will go after creeds and things instead. But I understand there will be a voice coming in the last days, crying out of the wilderness, calling the people back to their original message, back to the things of God. I understand by the book, those things will take place. I understand that in the last days there will come a famine. The churches will be so organized and so set and everything that in the last days there will come a famine. And it will not be for bread and water only, but for hearing the true word of God. Amen. And people will go from the east, from the west, from the north and the south seeking to hear the true word of God. But the churches will be so organized and tightened up that they'll fail to hear it. I understand that by book. But in that day, oh God, there will be a branch rise up from David. I understand that he'll stand Elijah before that day comes at the end time and he'll have a message that'll turn the hearts out of the children back to the fathers. Turn them back to the original. Go back again to the end and start. I understand that that'll take place just before the Spirit leaves the Gentile church to return to the Jews. 